First, pick up a stone I'm using agate one and also wires of 20 and 24 gauge, flush cutter, chain nose pliers, and round nose pliers. We start by round nose pliers and 20 gauge wire and also the stone. Mark about six times of the diameter of your stone on the 20 gauge wire and then cut it out with flush cutter. Then cut three of these strands with the same size. This is the second one and the third one. Now we have three strands with the same size. Before doing anything, we need to make these strands all straight. I'm using my chain nose pliers and pulling them. You could use a nylon mallet too. Then pick up the thinner wire of about 24 gauge. To make a wire wrapping part just at the middle of the size of your wire strands. Wrap this thinner wire one time all around those three strands and make sure this is all tight and squeeze it with chain nose pliers and do the same for the second row. Squeeze every two wrapping part together and continue doing that for about four or five times. Then cut the wire out and pay attention if the wires are going to overlap, just separate them and make them all straight with chain nose pliers. And also to squeeze the ending and the starting point of this wire so that there wouldn't be any sharp edges. At the end, Squeeze all of them with chain nose pliers and this would be the joints at the middle of the whole length of our 28 gauge strands. Then put it on the stone and then start to wrap it all around. Put the weaving part at the middle and try to bend the wires symmetrical at right and left. And if the weaving part moves, don't worry, just push it to be at the same place. Then again, put the stone and continue wrapping those wires. If you notice any wire overlapping, just correct them at that step. At the above, make all of these strands close together and make a bend at that point with your fingers. It's just okay because we are using soft wires. If not, you could use chain nose pliers. And also, separate one of these three strands that are closer to you and then with chain nose pliers make a bend just like this and also at the other side. If the wire loses its shape at the other places just correct them too. Then put the stone and we see the bend area is just prevent the stone from falling down and we need to continue that at the top. So separate one of those strands that is above and with round nose pliers this time I'm keeping the wire and I'm rotating my wrist to have a bend. You could do some changes so that you achieve a symmetrical shape. Then we have six strands at the above that I'm going to make them all close 
and squeeze with chain nose pliers. Now select one of those strands that is the continuous of one of those wires that we had just bent and wrap it all around the other strands above. This would be the first time wrapping this wire and I'm checking it out to be all squeezed. So I do that with chain nose pliers and make it all tight. About two times of wrapping is enough. And then I'm doing the same with the other strand and continuous of the other curved part. And I'm doing the same, wrapping about two times then cut it out and squeeze it. Separate two of that four strands remaining for the bale and wrap the two others and insert them with round nose pliers into the empty space at the above. Then rotate it and make the continuous of these two strands all curved and make little circles at the end for both parts. And of course, we are doing that with round nose pliers and squeeze it with chain nose pliers, not to have any sharp edges. Then we are going to wrap the last pair of our straight strands and you could do that better with keeping it with round nose pliers and make a bale at the end. After making a shape like a teardrop, check them out and if needed, cut them out to be even. And I'm doing that with one of those. Then with round nose pliers again, keep both of them and make a rounded shape just like a loop at the end and then squeeze it to be at the same place. Okay, it's almost done. Our very easy wire pendant. But you could decorate it with some beads or pearls and just test them out to see which is perfect. And I think this one is better. I'm using one of these golden pearls. What do you prefer? Just comment it below for me. The white and big pearl or the golden and small one? Okay, to attach it, again, pick up the thinner wire of about 24 gauge, insert it into the bead or pearl, and then place it somewhere at the middle and at the place that you desire. Then start to make a wire weaving at one side with throwing the wire with round nose pliers and making it tight at its place. Squeeze it well with chain nose pliers and again continue doing that for several rows. Do the same for the other part and it's ready. Our very beautiful wire wrapping pendant and you could also make a joint at the bail. And then insert the chain. Hope you had enjoyed. Take care.